When patients see us for a surgical problem, they're also being seen with a radiation doctor to talk about radiation treatment possibilities after surgery. They're also seeing a medical oncologist for what type of systemic treatments they will receive, as well as the social worker, the nurse navigators, integrative health, and that's in one clinic. So many of our adult patients who are caregivers are now able to go to one visit and they leave with a treatment summary written out by the nurse navigators so they know, okay, mom is going to get surgery on this date. She's going to have this testing. And it allows everybody to feel, okay, we know what's going on in one visit. What we learned when we were in residency has totally changed, both as a surgeon all the genetics, all the new treatments, medications, you are a lifelong learner. So many of the people that you see here not only went to, they did their residency, they spent additional time doing research as well as fellowship training. So you want to go to a place where you have those individuals who didn't have to do the additional training but wanted to, from the physicists the laboratory tech, the radiation tech, the person who does your mammogram, everybody's involved in lifelong learning and they have a certain minimal standard. And every three years we have to be surveyed by a national leader to make sure that we are abiding by all the national standards. So it gives patients peace of mind that we're not resting on our laurels but we have continuing maintenance because things change and new standards change and we want to keep up to date. I know all of my colleagues, I can text them, I can call them, I can easily communicate. And I think for any cancer care, you want a team that communicates well. Uh, we have weekly multidisciplinary tumor boards that we talk about each case, present their pathology, their x-rays, any new clinical trials for every new cancer patient. Uh, particularly the invasive cancer patients that are more complicated. So that you know that it's not just me giving my opinion, but it's a board of other surgeons, radiation doctors, medical oncologists, researchers, nurses, geneticists that are involved. And our genetic counselors are very involved in the care of patients and we have a strong genetic counseling program for breast.